Hi everyone, it's Jojo with Lakeside Treasures. I had my morning free this morning, so I decided to go to a couple thrift stores. I went to a Goodwill and then I went to a resale store that is close by my house. And I'm happy with some of the pieces I found and I'm excited to share them with you. The first thing that I got was these Swizzle Sticks cocktail stirs. I've actually been looking for some of these, so I was thrilled. I only paid $2 for the whole bag, but I'm trying to build up a retro vintage bar and I thought these would be perfect for it. There's some really cool ones. There's uh, like the Tropicana Las Vegas, Stardust Las Vegas. There's a few in there from um, Miami Beach, Florida. Um, that one says Santa Fe Supper Club, um, Carousel in Cincinnati. So I haven't went through them all, but I'm really excited to have them and they'll be perfect at the bar. The next thing I found I'm actually going to use for the bar too, it is an Ohio tin tray. It has the state of Ohio and then a bunch of cities and graphics on it. But I thought that was really, it had a real cool retro look to it. So it would be perfect for uh, serving my cocktail glasses, my drinks with. The next thing I got was this cup and I paid, I believe 50 cents for it. Um, I don't remember, yeah, 50 cents. And what's really cool is the U.S. Army Mess Hall um, mug. It says U.S. and you probably can't read it. It says Halsey Ink on it. And I was thrilled when I came back and did a little research on it to find out it is a vintage Army Mess Hall mug. So I was excited about that. The next thing I got was these little, this little set. It says Florida on it. And there's a set of four um, like porcelain ashtrays. I thought it was really cute. I was kind of liked it, how it was like individual like that. And I paid three dollars for those. I've actually been looking for one of these. Um, I paid two dollars for it um, to put my tea bags in um, when I have my tea. This one I don't. I thought it was vintage, but I don't believe that it is. It says pristine England, but I saw someone listed as um, Pier 1, so I don't know if it's from Pier 1 or not, but actually I was looking for one, so I picked up that. I got this pretty girl here. She's got her swimming cap and swimsuit on. Looks like maybe she's, what, 1930s maybe? Um, perfect. I paid $2 for her also, and she will be going in my bedroom because it's more of a nautical theme. Okay, so I paid $5 for this tin. It's from Holland. I have a smaller one right now that has my buttons in it for my sewing buttons, but I can't hold very many. So this one will be perfect because I can put all of them in there. The next thing I got, I paid a dollar for this. This is a measuring cup, but I thought it was really cute because it has the little flowers on it. It is made says Charlotte Royal Crownford Ironstone England. So I thought that was really pretty. No chips or cracks in it. All right. The next thing I got was this and I paid 250 for this. It is um Jefferson glass and this is called their May basket. And I thought it was really um pretty, no chips, no cracks. And so this one will go um, in my living room, or I was thinking about maybe putting it here in the kitchen and putting my um, stevia packets in it. The last thing I got, and it's really neat, I'm super excited about this. This is a matchstick art grand piano. Someone made this, it's so cool. It's got mirrors on it, and you can see how all the individual matches made that. It's got felt around the outside and in the inside in the lid and then it has this to hold it up. It's so neat because you can see the glue how they individually glued all those. I'll bring it around the back. The felt goes all the way around the back of it and over to the side. My mom is a music teacher, so I'm gonna show it to her. I don't know if she'll want it or not, but I'm sure that she'll love it. Love seeing it, so. I thought that was really neat. I've never seen like a, a matchstick art that was, um, that had the felt and the mirrors on it like that. So I thought that was a really cool piece. 
So that's it. It wasn't a big haul, but you know, I'm happy with some of the pieces I found. Um, I think that the army mug actually might be my favorite thing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and share, comment, tell me which one was your favorite, and um, subscribe if you like to see more vintage videos. Thanks so much.